Hello, hello, happy Wednesday. Welcome to Stamping A to Z. I'm Linda Gibbs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada. This is my weekly live that I've been doing. Um, it all started out as a how-to, kind of weekly A to Z, all the products, how to use them um, during COVID. So it was kind of like pull out your stuff and let's play and have a nice... Um, not a therapeutic session but for me it's very stress relieving and relaxing so um i wanted to share that and i do it at noon so hopefully if you're at work and you just need a break and you want to watch um live for an hour and just craft or craft with me or whatever um i'm happy to have you watching so thanks for coming out if you are watching let me know you're watching um in the comments uh, let me know where you're watching from, if you're new to the lives, um, if you, or if you've watched before. Um, I also do post the replay in YouTube, so if you have friends that aren't on Facebook and you think they might like it, they can always watch them. You can send them over to YouTube. I usually post the link to YouTube um, when I post the cards. Anyway, so normally I will, most days I do three cards and different techniques and different products and whatever. So today we're doing three cards. Um, I did want to point out that we are in the last few days of May, which means we're in the last few days of our uh, starter kit special, which is an amazing deal. It, you get your, so it's $135 for the kit. You can choose $165 worth of product, um, any product that you want. There's no shipping. And if you're in Alberta, there's no tax. If you're in other provinces, you pay the tax that's not the GST. So whatever um, is on top. So like 7% or whatever your taxes are. Um, and then on top of that, so for the next few days, you get... Um, a pack of the 6x6 six six designer series paper, which there's 40, yes, 40 sheets. So there's five colors um, and there's basically four designs because they're double-sided. So two designs, two, two different design papers. So there's four of each design, eight total of each color. Um, that's one piece you get all five of the full size stamp pads, which you can do so many things with. If you've watched my videos, you'll know there's lots of things you can do. You get the five uh, markers that go with, which um, again, you can color with, or you can actually, if you go back and look at videos, there's lots of things you can do with the markers. Hi, Elon, nice to see you. And um, you also get the mixed pack of paper. So there's four sheets of each of the colors um, in a pack of paper. So it's actually $112 value on top of um, your $135, $165 of product. So it's a whole lot that you get for very little. So only a couple more days for that. So. Um, today I'm featuring the, the new in colors, but I'm also featuring some other new products that are in the new catalog. I've got like some crazy stray hairs here going on. All right, I'm going to get flipped around and we will get started here. If I can, I've got my camera in a different spot. So, um, hopefully I can get it right. Oh, that's very crooked. <laughs> and hopefully my iPad will show me what I'm showing you so that I know if I'm off screen. That is always helpful to know. Uh, why aren't you popping up here? Where am I? Go into my, there we go. Okay, 
we're live for now. <laughs> My comments do keep going as long as I swipe. <laughs> but um, we'll see if I freeze up like normal. All right, so for my first card, it's probably my favorite card. It's very simple. I'm not good, for those of you who know me, I'm not great at simple. And so this one is simple, but it still has lots of steps to it, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't make sense. So for this one, I'm gonna use um, Peach Pie, which is one of the in colors. This is one of the designer series paper. It has circles on one side and then, I don't know what you would call that on this side. And then I've got my white card base and I've got a piece of basic white, which is three and a half by four and three quarters. So it's a bit smaller because I wanted to have, you know, a bit of a, a frame that shows off the designer series paper. Um, let me just show you, actually, I'll show you the other designer series paper in another card. You'll see it. Um, okay. And then I'm using the spotlight on nature stamp set and the dies that come with it are, I mean, I kind of wish they had the matching dies to these, but it's pretty easy to fussy cut those. The dies that actually come with it are these beautiful circle dies. And they, so they cut out the circle and then they cut out a detail on the inside, which is really pretty. So I really, um, I'm in love with these actually. All three cards have the circles. This first one, we're not actually using the circle cut out on the card. I've cut out, um, I pre this was white but I've already used it for another card. And then I cut out another circle. I don't, it was one of these ones, but obviously I'm using the outside so you don't see the detail on the inside. So this is our masking paper and I've already used it as you can tell. And I'm gonna stand up so I can try and line this up here. Oopsie. Well, I guess, it doesn't matter if it's crooked that way because it's a circle. We just want it kind of centered oh, on our paper. Okay. And the nice thing is I have extra, so it's going to hold it down while I use my blender brush. So in my last card, I used um, Pretty in Pink, which is one of the new in colors. I'm going to use Peach Pie for this one just to, you can see the two of them. I'll show you the pink one when I'm done. So we've got our peach pie here, and this is um, one of the stamp pads that you would get. And then if you needed blender brushes, you can put that in your starter kit. And I'm just gonna come in. I'm gonna hope that the pink doesn't transfer too much. It shouldn't because I it should be dry, but I guess we'll find out. I always joke that I'm the tester and then you guys are watching and then you can know what not to do. I'm good at showing you what not to do. Okay, so I'm gonna do, this is kind of a lighter um, dusting of the, I don't know what the heck, I've got some lint going on or something here. Okay, so I'm not gonna go too dark with that. And I'm gonna leave my mask on. And I should have made this out of masking paper too, but I did not. So I'm just gonna hold it down with my finger. And I'm gonna come back in, but I'm gonna use my smaller brush, just so I have less chance of going out and having more chance of it getting in these little grooves here. And I'm gonna make it darker, so I'm not gonna to worry too much about how intense my color is because I want it to be darker. Get some more ink down. I gotta be careful here not to, I should have put an extra piece of 
paper, but I should have gone the other way when I stuck it down. Oh well, that's why. I was like, wee bit more. Blah! That's a lot more. <laughs> you drop the ink pad there. Okay, we'll just use it up here. <laughs> we'll go darker than I planned to go. It might be a little too stark, but we'll find out. Okay. Now we get the fun part, the reveal. That's my favorite part of masking, I think. Let me just wipe this up before I put my, oh, sorry, <laughs> my white cardstock into it and make a mess. And we'll just wipe this up. Okay, that's better. That doesn't make as <laughs> horrible a sound. Okay, so shall we reveal this part first? Ta-da! So you've got the softer background. Oh, I did go over the edge. So you probably want to put... Now, there is a way to fix that, and I have a wee tiny line there. And I'm not covering it up. So now I can reuse this. You can tell it's curled up. So what I did is I put the sticker part back down. And it doesn't stick well because, you know, it's the non-stick sticky part. So once I get it down, what I did is I put a block on it to hold it down and then it once it kind of sits there for a bit it straightens out and holds on again so if you want to fix this if you have a paper sanding block and I've seen people actually with electric ones they're really cool um, you can come in and Sand it off. And if you're using this on, you have to do this on colored paper, that's okay because our colored paper is colored all the way through. So it'll be colored. It won't all of a sudden be white. So I don't know if you can tell, but the color is basically non-existent. Now this is a little bit more um, stark than I would have liked. I, you could put the mat, keep that mask on and then have come back and made it a bit darker, but that's okay. We're gonna see what it ends up looking like with the darker circle. Okay, hopefully you guys are being quiet because I'm not seeing comments come in, so that's okay. It's okay if you're quiet. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm not missing anything. Okay, and then I'm gonna stamp this beautiful butterfly. I just, I don't know, the, the prints of these, maybe it's the way they're drawn. I just really like them. And they make, t um, they make it easy to color. So now, ideally, if you have a Stamparatus, I would use the Stamparatus and stamp it multiple times to get a really nice dark black. I did find a fix for this though, if you don't. You can take either a black marker or a blend and you can come in and just, I'm only gonna worry about his body because everything else I'm coloring on top of. So now I have a nice dark body and the wings, the outer wings are good. It's just the inside, which is okay because we're gonna color there. Now, ideally um, blends are the better choice to use because it's, well, for me, <laughs> for a non, or, uh, how do you want to, how do I put that? For someone who is not gifted in coloring, <laughs> such as I, these blends make it super easy to 
make your coloring look amazing. But now you're getting this in your kit. So you can use the marker. You can mar use the marker in several ways. If you have a clear block or glass mat, you can color it onto here. And now if you have, you could purchase in your starter kit. Um, they, I think there's, you know what? I didn't even think to look in the catalog before I chose this. Um, they come in a pack of three and I assumed that they were still in the catalog because they've been a staple for a very long time. Let me just double check because I don't want to steer you wrong. Coloring tool, blender pens, right? 118, I think that's them. Yep, that's them. Okay, they are still available. So if you get the blender pens, they can pick up the ink. I don't know if you can see that. You could use your stamp pad as well. And then you can come in and you can add the color. And it is much more like, it kind of gives you a watercolor slash um, blends kind of look to things. So you can get more of that gradient instead of everything being all one color. Now that one thing, I stamped this with Memento. So it is ideal for, um, um, let me just, it's faster with the, I don't want to bore you guys. I'm just going to take my blends here. Um, what was I saying? Do, 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 lost my train of thought here. Um, Yeah, the markers are quite stark. So unless you want like a solid butterfly, it's um, better to use the blends. Oh, the ink is where I was going with that. Um, you should use stays on ink if you're using the blender brush, if you don't want that black to bleed. But if you're careful and you make sure it's dry, I find I don't get a lot of bleeding. I find it okay. And I don't like the mess of the stays on. So for me, <laughs> the laziness um, takes over. So, you know, you can just kind of keep going till you're happy with that look that you've got. I said I was going to do this quick so it wouldn't bore you and then I'm going over. Okay, so I've got some shadows going a little bit. Like I said, I am not a professional coloring person. <laughs> it's not my forte. Shadow. I need to take a class on uh, shadows and shadowing. I would like to learn for watercolor. I would like to take a watercoloring class actually. Um, and then I have the thanks. There is a dear friend as well. Really nice writing. And again, if you have the Stamparatus or Misty or uh, something, I think Stampin' Up! said they were supposed to come out with another similar tool, but they have not yet. Now, my trick for getting my words right, if you're not using a tool, I stamp it what I think is straight on here, and it's slightly crooked, so I know I want to tip it. Just a bit, it's very scientific. <laughs> Just tip it a bit and then it'll be good. And then hope that I get good coverage. You would never know I was a scientist in another life. Okay, so it's slightly off. If you're very much a perfectionist, uh, using one of the tools would be your friend but this is good enough. So here's my peach pie version. And then here's my pretty in pink version. So very simple, clean, car, all flat. Like there's no, um, well, there's layer of paper colors, but um, really overall, it's a very simple 
card and you could do all you know you could have a variety of colors you could just keep going and have some really pretty cards easy fast and pretty so that is card number one card number two sorry it doesn't want to stay over here um card number two i'm gonna use let me just get this out of the way we do not need that anymore we do not need this anymore because you know you run out of room when you don't move things as you go okay so for this one i'm still using the spotlight on nature dies so these circles because i love them so much and then i pulled in the sweet peas uh oh my hang on my uh, my video froze hopefully it's not frozen i'm hoping it's just on my ipad that it's frozen See if I can get it working again. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's working for now. We'll see how long it works. So I pulled in this Sweet Peas uh, stamp set, which is new in the annual catalog. It is super cute. I I saw I waffled because I'm like, oh, it's super cute, but will I use it? But then a friend of mine's having a baby, and then I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> so I had an excuse to buy it. All right. Oh. Please. So I've got this is Aspen. Sorry. This is Shy Shamrock. Um, it is one of the new in colors. And then I pre embossed. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's a beautiful um dashing design 3d embossing folder it kind of reminds me of like a quilted look so i've got that and then this is the other designer series paper so it has stripes on one side and then it has leaves on the other so there was the first one that i showed you in here that had the circles and the whatever you want to call it and then you've got the stripes and the leaves. So we're going to use the stripes here. And then I've cut out the Shy Shamrock with this one. So it's kind of cool when you cut out the circles, you can do um, a small and a big. And the way they've done it is kind of like there's, they're not all the same. So like there's a big of the kind of the more florally, and then there's the stripes, and then there's the florally that one down kind of thing and then your stripes are one off of each other and you're like there's just they're well um coordinated or i don't know however you want to say that So we've got all of those and you can see it doesn't always um actually it was it was punching them out really well but i wasn't being good at cleaning the die part and at, right now my bottom plate of my cutting plates is probably needs to be replaced it's probably about to break into two it's been used so much so paper gets stuck and the paper gets stuck in the die because it goes deeper. So if you cut your dies with the paper still stuck in the in the little spots, then the paper tends to get stuck in your paper. So one way or another, you're gonna have a bit of punching out to do, but that's okay. So once again, um, we've got lots of layers, but they're just die cut. And then I'm just gonna stamp onto my piece of basic white. And I've got my cute little pea baby. That sounded rude. <laughs> Let me 
make sure I get nice coverage and try and get it straight. Again, I should have pulled out my Stamparatus. I'm actually, um, well, you'll see. I've ordered something to help me with that. And I'm still waiting for it. So you'll see it when it comes. And then you'll see. I'll, sh I'll explain the. Well, we'll see if it works. And then I'll tell you whether it's something that's worth getting. All right. So we've got our welcome sweet pea. And all you have to do is then color it. So again, um, probably, so with these blender pens, all you need is a scrap piece of paper, which I don't seem to have, but we'll use the starter kit special, which as you can see, I've used several times. And all you have to do is keep coloring. There's the two ends and it comes in a three pack. So just keep coloring until your color is gone and then you can switch to the new color. So you don't need like a pen for every color. So once again, you could use your markers or you could use your stamp pad and pick up the color and color. For um, the purpose of time, I'm going to use my blends and cheat a little bit. So here I'm using a um, lemon lime twist. Yes. I always hesitate because the lemon is in it and I know it's a kind of a yellowy green, but I always think, am I saying that right? Because I know it's lime, but I never want to say the lemon part. All right, and then we've got the Shy Shamrock, which is one of the in colors. So lemon lime is not an in color, just so you know. Um, you'll see in my original card that I colored the whole thing in Shy Shamrock, and then I was trying to lighten up the pea. So I added some lemon lolly. So it's mixed with um, shy shamrock. So it has a bit of a different look. I think this lemon lime works better, but you can decide which one is better once you see the two together. And then if you want to do a bit of Shading there. And when you want, if it's too stark, it, it does tend to blend out eventually. Um, you have to be patient. When you're doing a video patience it's not always <laughs> ideal but so that looks cute to me you're gonna see my other one kind of looks like an alien baby so this one actually by using the shy shamrock it's perf it's perfect for the pea color but it's also um perfect for gender neutral if you don't know if it's a girl or a boy but if it was a girl you could totally use um any of the other color, like any, like the peach pie, the um, pink, the, the purple. I mean, that's being, saying that there's a color for a girl and a boy, you could go with anything. And then you've got your um, summer splash also that would work. So you could do them in any of the colors and really have it work really cute for a baby card. So here's my <laughs> original and you can see, I used a bit of the, um, color lifter and I had I wonder if I try I didn't try putting lemon lime on top of here let's see if that gives it a better maybe it's the lemon lolly that was throwing it off that's a bit better hey but it still to me is like a bit alienish with the blue so I would stick to more of a a different green for the actual for the actual P or maybe I should have just left it I don't know but that's card number two
Oh, you know what? I'm just seeing your, uh, I don't know if you're already gone, but have fun. Hopefully I'll catch on your live. I, I can't watch the live today, um, but I'll have to watch the replay. All right. Um, okay. My last card. I'm quick today. I've switched up my colors again for my last card and I pulled in. So I'm using the, um, I can't, I can never remember the name. Why? Spotlight on nature dies. So we're using those. And then I pre embossed the circles, which you've seen me use before. If you've seen my other videos, and that is this dotted circles 3D embossing folder. Look how huge this is. It's one of the new big embossing folders that we have. And then I cut out a piece of the summer splash, summer splash, is that what it's called? Yes, summer splash designer series paper. So that's the, this design. And then I pulled in the attention shoppers um bundle there's a, it's a stamp set and dies very simple die set nothing crazy but it's super cute and makes for i mean you could totally fussy cut this stuff but the um the shopping cart is kind of what makes the the dies for that so here's the top of the shopping cart and then you've got the wheels and then we've got my circle pre-cut and then I'm going to stamp some of these ones and I've got my summer splash background. And this one I forgot to tell you is part of the nested essentials dies, which are in the annual catalog. Those carried over from before. So I'm sure you've seen those before. If you're not new, if you're new, it's all new. If you have questions, reach out. I'm happy to, to help. Okay, so there's my Summer Splash card base. You can see some people are like, oh, but those are the same colors. They're not the same colors. One is very green and one is very blue. And then we're going to pull out the little bouquet of flowers. The, I don't know if it's a wine or champagne or whatever, the bottle of something and a gift bag. And then we're gonna take our memento again. And we're gonna stamp it. This one with being the clear photopolymer, if it doesn't stamp as well as you'd like, um, it is easy enough to stamp again over top. It's not easy on video because it's hard to get my head over top, but you're just doing it at home and you can stand oops stand over your project see I go off camera all the time if it freezes on me I don't know I'm off camera all right you know what they should do maybe someday the comments oh but that would echo let's just say it would be nice if the comments would like talk to you so then someone could be like you're off screen but anywho all right, now I've got to switch up my colors because in my last one, I did Petunia Pop as my background. So I used Summer Splash to color. So now I might have to reverse things. Maybe I'll use Petunia Pop here. And again, you can use the markers. I just find the blends way faster to color with. So, um, so you're not sitting here all day watching me color. I'll just use the faster method. So this is the darker. So this is Petunia Petunia Pop. And I'm 
then um, let's do this one. Originally, my flowers were purple, but I'm going to make the flowers blue this time. I'm glad my live wasn't till noon because there was, um, so I don't know, I, I've moved rooms and I'm upstairs now instead of in the basement and I kind of miss my nice quiet basement and I keep, so there's no door on this room and so I keep saying I need to get a door and they're like, why? You don't need a door. It's quiet. It's fine. And this morning they were cutting down a tree two doors down and oh my, it was loud. I was like, oh, I hope they're done by noon. And they they cut it down so fast, it was unbelievable. It was really sad. I missed my tree now. It was already, my view has been downgraded, I would say. <laughs> but I like to see nature. So even though I was in the basement, the window was higher. It was a bigger window though. And I'd get the sun and I just see the tops of the trees. So it was a really nice view to me. Now I see a sea of concrete driveways <laughs> and the tree was blocking a lot of that because it was, it was tall. I think it was an elm tree. Anyways, the city had planted it and the neighbors decided they needed to take it down. So anyways, Can't have everything. So I should have, I was gonna color this first and just do a quick, <laughs> I thought, oh no, I'll just do it. I should have. Um, okay, and then we'll do a peach, peach bottle. And with uh should we do purple here again or blue yeah, I'll just do purple okay then I've got, I figured I can do this easily because I can use my little, my little boss. Since it fits on this little one here. And then we need the dies. So we've got the flowers. and the bottle. And we'll just, I should have taped it down, but hopefully it won't move. The bag moved a little bit. <laughs> well, we'll redo that one because <laughs> I lost it. All right. So we've got those. Now we need our bag. I need the bag go. Okay. sandwich is uneven which with the mini we learned that that's no what's going on 
Looks like the roller's not rolling for some reason. Hmm. I don't know. The sandwich was not the right sandwich, apparently. This mini one is definitely more finicky with the way you put your plates. Like, you don't want them perfectly lined up, and apparently the, the order that they're staggered helps the ease of the rolling. Okay, so we've got our three little pieces, and then we'll bring back... Oh, I should have glued this down while I was doing that, since... For me, well, I guess glue is not essential, but I find to make sure that it sticks, like you kind of want to be on the ones that don't have the big circles indented, right? Because otherwise it won't stick down. And then I like to stick it down. And then usually I would put a glass block to help it, help it along. And then we'll put this down too. And then we can assemble our shopping cart. Now, I am not a big shopper. I hate shopping, actually. Um, so I was very on the fence with this um, set, especially because it's attention. Like, but it's just, I mean, it's perfect for gifts and stuff. And it is cute with the shopping cart. So I didn't order it right off the bat. And then I decided... It was too cute. I saw too many cute samples. So you want to put your cart like so. Now, if you're smart, you would have your silicone sheet. I can wipe the glass table too, but um, <laughs> this has a piece of adhesive. It was just on the paper I was using. And then I'm going to come in. And I'm going to put, I'm going to try and put this on each of these to put my items in my cart. I probably don't need them on these end ones, but I'll put them there just in case. And I want to make sure. Uh, sitting where I want it. I think I want my bottle in front a little bit. And then the flowers can kind of... Uh, in front or in back? Maybe a little bit in front. Oops. That's not realistic. It can't hang out the... <laughs> front of the basket okay so we've got our pieces and parts then we're just gonna add some I don't know where my large white dimensionals I just took them out and they've disappeared on me anyways we'll use black goes with the cart Okay, so I'm going to stick my pieces together. Uh, maybe there's like three or four big ones. Oh, I'll go to the smaller ones. Make it here. Maybe one up at the neck here. One down here. And then we need to cut little strips for the cart and then we'll come down here on the cart 
part and I'm going to remove this adhesive sheet that's on here because otherwise the um, the adhesive, it's like a sticker sheet so it doesn't stick well to that. So I'd rather stick it to adhesive where it's going to stick really well versus not stick at all and just pull the sheet off. Okay, so I've got those three They're ready to go. And once again, I've got some pokey pokey to do. Go where my take a pick tool. Oh, I see it. Can you hear <laughs> Aspen's drinking water? I can hear it all the way up here. She's a loud drinker. All right, hopefully you guys can't hear. And then, oh, I forgot. Ooh, I don't know if it all, I might not have left myself enough room. It was a just for you, or maybe what I could do. I could do a happy birthday or something, I guess. Uh, let me just grab a piece of extra. There we go, that'll work. And we have our memento. If you really wanted it nice and black and kind of popping, you could use um, black embossing powder. It's a good way to get a really good dark image and then that would kind of mimic the cart. And then I just fussy cut this. Fussy cut, I know, right? So for those of you who might be new, not think you're not good at fussy cutting, um, I am a self-proclaimed non-fussy cutter. Um, if there's a die, I usually get the die because I do not like. I even um, have a brother scan and cut to which I could use for this. <laughs> I'm not that bad, um, but I just. Um, I'm not, but if, uh, now that I'm done, <laughs> when you're cutting, you steer with your non-scissored hands and you're just kind of cutting with your scissored hands, it does make it a lot easier, but, um, practice also makes it easier and easier. I used to have a lot of thumb pain and issues. Um, I don't, it's not as bad as it was, so I am able to fussy cut more than I used to. That was kind of a big reason for not fussy cutting before. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out kind of where I want my dimensionals. And I'll probably want a little one up here. So then I can add the just for you, like so. Okay, so I've got my little gift, my card of gifts, and then I've got my glued down pieces and then you just have to glue this down and the circle just happens to fit to like you can line it up perfectly within your circles um, from the embossing folder it's kind of cool I thought that I tried it without the I should have showed you guys before I glued this down I tried it without 
this piece because I thought, oh, it'll just be circle on circle. But it's like it needs that other shape to ground it or something. I can't, I was what somebody else explained it. I'm not good at explaining the whole reasoning behind <laughs> the designs and the crafting, but um, there's something about like the focal point and the grounding of it that it looks better with it. Anyways, that is my third card. So I will show you the three cards again. Let's get rid of all the garbagey. Here's my my alien here. Let's do this. I'll put the nicer pee <laughs> on top. Oh, and here's the so here's the purple version. And then we've got the pink, pretty in pink. And I'm missing my, I lost my butterfly. There it is. So we've got our peach pie. So these are the five colors. We've got peach pie. We've got pretty in pink. We've got shy shamrock, uh, petunia pop, and summer splash. So till the end of May, so just for the next few days, you can still get your hands on the in color, the designer series paper, the markers, the stamp pads, and the cardstock for free um, when you join and purchase the starter kit. So it's don't miss out on that deal if you're wanting to get in on it. But hope you enjoyed these cards and we'll see you guys next Wednesday. All right, take care. Bye.